In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a custom domain to your GitHub pages or website. So this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial. Now I'm going to connect my domain I've registered with Hostinger, but you can connect any domain with any domain registration company. So at the end of the video, you'll know exactly how to do it. So first go to GitHub and find your website or your pages. So here is my website here. It's just an example for demonstration purposes. Now what I'm gonna do is go to settings in the top right hand corner. Then we need to find pages. So scroll down and you will look under code and automation. And here you'll see pages. From here, you'll see where your website is live. Now by default, it will be using a GitHub subdomain. If we click on my website, it is a very basic static page that I've created just for this video. So now let's add a custom domain. So here on GitHub pages, you need to scroll down to custom domain. And what we can do is we can go ahead and find our domain. For me, mine is registered in Hostinger, so I'm gonna log in and find it. Okay, so here I am in the back end of my domain. Now my domain is called knowledgebasevideo.com. So we'll go to GitHub and we'll type it in here. We'll do www.knowledgebasevideo.com. Just make sure there's no spelling errors. Then you wanna go ahead and save that. Now what this is gonna do now, it's going to scan for the DNS. Now we need to add some DNS records to connect it. And this is fairly easy. So here's how you do that. So now you want to click on learn more about configuring custom domains, and that will open up the info page of GitHub where it will tell you how to do it. You then want to scroll down to managing a custom domain. And here we want to add these following A records and also C records. So scroll down to configuring an Apex domain. Here it will show you four different A records which we need to add. So let's go ahead and copy the first one and then we'll head over to the back end of your domain. Here you wanna find the place where you can edit the DNS and name servers. For me, that's DNS slash name servers. We can then go to manage DNS records and here we can add new DNS records. Now, if you already have an A record in your DNS records, you wanna go ahead and delete it because we need to not get it confused. So we can now add A records from GitHub. So the first one, make sure you're on a record and make sure it points to the first a record provided by github then go ahead and click add record and that will add it now we'll do the same for these other three records so we'll paste it in we'll click add and just confirm any error messages finally we'll add the third one and then we'll go ahead and add the fourth one here so now in total you should have four a records there we go just like that so now let's go on to the next step so now what we need to do, we need to go ahead and scroll down and we need to add some CNAME records. Here you're looking for section number five under configuring a subdomain. And what we can do is we can add one CNAME record. So you need to add a CNAME record which points to your username.github.io. So we'll break that down. We'll go to your domain. We'll go type, we'll go CNAME. Now for the name, you can leave this on at, or you can type www. And then for the target, you wanna find your username to GitHub. And you're going to put the target as your username.github.io. So we'll go back here and we'll find my username, which is knowledgebaseyt. So in the target here, I'm going to write my username, which is knowledgebaseyt.github.io. After I've done that, we can click add record and it then should add that CNAME record successfully. So now it has done that and we can now go ahead and double check on it again. So we're gonna go back into the actual project settings. And then if you scroll down to custom domain, you can see DNS check successful. So now let's try it. So your site is live, let's click on this link and there you go, it is working. Now don't worry about this not secure certificate here now once your dns settings are propagated github will go ahead and issue you an ssl certificate but that's how you can connect it that's all you need to do i hope that video helped you out